Hi guys and welcome back to the kingdom. I hope you guys have had positive and productive weeks this week. So this week I will be showing you the back art and the sprayed edge that I put on a ballad of songbirds and snakes or the ballad of songbirds and snakes. It is the new Hunger Games prequel by Suzanne Collins uh, that everyone on booktube and book twitter has been blowing up about. Um, I read this in pretty much one sitting um, over the course of a single day at the very least uh, and uh, there are elements that I certainly enjoyed, there were elements that I didn't enjoy but that's part of every book and all in all uh, it's it was very inspiring and full of quite of, uh, a lot of imagery that I just had to get onto the book. So this project was a little bit different to my other projects because as you can see the book board is yellow and it's not made out of the same materials as the book boards normally are. Normally book boards are really flat but if I show you the front cover which now as I show you the front cover and so I come up really close I don't know if you'll be able to see it. No I don't think you can but this is not flat. This is not flat, not even a little bit. It's got a lot of little bubbles on it, um, this strange sort of weaving in and out pattern uh, that comes from, honestly, a very beautiful colour and design on the front that comes naturally with the hardcover book when you buy it. Uh, but it does make painting on it and using a stencil a pain in the butt, even if you do put down an acrylic layer spray, because even that can't make it a flat surface. Um, so I did have to, to work around that and ended up using very light touches of black um, when I added my uh, designs. So this is the sprayed edge that I did. Obviously as per normal, on the pages and they come back together just fine. So I put a yellow snake and green background colour. I did the green background colour as a nod towards the uh, dust jacket which I actually really really love. Um, this is the back cover, so it says snow always lands on top. It has a rose and then obviously the snow going along with it with a border like on the front. So that's my design. So without any more wittering, let's jump into the time lapse. <laughs> stencil um, I felt like I, given the design that was on the front and I wanted it all to match I really only needed one stencil or one color aka black so I only needed one stencil um, but I think the effect is actually really nice I think it ties into the book really well I don't think it feels out of place at all and I love the effect like I said I did have to do a fair amount of cleanup well a little bit of cleanup actually not too much um, but I did have to change my techniques given the fact that this book is just not flat uh, which means that the black paint could run underneath my sticky stencil the whole point of having a sticky stencil is that you know it won't move and um, it's it's sticks to your surface so that the paint can't run but in in this instance um, it, it couldn't do that. 
In order to work with that, I just had to use a lighter amount of paint and be extremely careful where I put it. So you'll see with this that I did a lot of paintbrush art. Um, but yeah, that's the result. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, as always guys, the stencil will be up on my Etsy store. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and next week I'll be showing you the back art that I've done uh, with a quote and the spray that I've done for The Cruel Prince because I finally got my hands on a hardback copy and I love what I've done to it. So I'll see you next time guys. Stay safe. Bye.